Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Atra Abida binti Mustafa. We present a comprehensive review of wedge tap at the red place. Foundation. Okay. For background, uh, this study uh, that's about into the transformative review of wedge tap in the place uh, as a crime and punishment in Islamic law wedge tap. The, Ill the illegal will holding of a wage is a perspective. It is a pervasive issue impacting workers across industries. Okay, this comprehensive review has mean uh, the various form of wage debt, including upbeat over time, misclassification of employees as exam, minimum wage violation, and tip discrepancies. Okay, uh, the practice by an employer of not paying the proper wages to, uh, uh, to a workers, especially through paying inordinately low salaries or failing to abide by employment law and regulations, which is cheating workers of holiday pay is wage theft. Okay, uh, for wage theft is numerous articles published in both business and academic journals emphasize the impact of wage theft on workers like food um, and broader economy. Okay, uh, this uh, paper also analyzed existing legal framework and enforcement strategies for addressing wage theft and the review proposes recommendations for strengthening legal protections, improving enforcement and empowering workers to identify and combat wage theft. Problem. Problem 1 is the prevalence of wage theft, highlighting factors that contribute to the problem. Problem 2 issues impacting workers across industries. And problem 3 is as a means the various forms of wage theft, including unpaid overtime, misclassification of employees as SM, minimum wage violation, and tip discrepancies. For objective, uh, the uh, the wage theft is uh, to create to create awareness among in, irresponsible superior about the effects of wage theft on employees through the role of employers and agency in defending workers' rights. The second objective is um, uh, to employees are more motivated to work if these issues can be stopped. For the literature review. First is conception of workplace wage theft. Wage theft is first is conception of workplace wage theft is in Islamic jurisprudence. Wage theft is viewed as a grave injustice and uh, an evaluation of both ethical and legal principles. Islamic teachings emphasize the importance of fulfilling, fulfilling contracts and treating workers with fairness and respect. The Quran and Adi stress the importance of just treatment of workers the Quran states oh you who has please fulfill all contracts surah al-maidah ayah 1 okay uh, this includes uh, employment contracts obligating employer employers to pay a great upon wage promptly one of the key hadith saying of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him on this matter is give the worker his wage before his red price. Okay, for methodology, I use for bibliometric analysis of wage theft. Okay, this type of analysis involves the quantitative analysis of scholarly publications such as articles, books, and conference papers in order to examine uh, patterns, relationship, and trends within a specific file of study in the context of wage theft, bibliometric analysis can be employed by to systematically assess and analyze the body of literature on this med subject matter. So, from Figure One, flow diagram of the strategy uh, in findings in the examination or place mentoring, a comprehensive bibliometric analysis was conducted utilizing the Scopus database which is specified search string and criteria and using Bibliotechny web interface, a bibliometry analysis art package. The search conducted on 5th May 2024 focuses on article published between 2017 and 2024, written in English and following written 
the subject areas of social science, business, or psychology. The search string comprises keywords related to wage theft and workplace. This screening uh, process identifies a total of two hundred and one records subsequent to a trial review. Ninety five records were excluded, leaving one hundred and six articles for preliminary analysis. The selected record exclusively comprise article in the form of journal. Okay, for the next is uh, figure two. Most global sites document the analysis of most globally cited document in the real of wage theft reveals a collection of impactful contribution. Silicon S uh, 2018, a collaborative re relate review stands out with 30, 74 total citations. The document which highest cit uh, citation per year 74, is marked separately and, in, in, and is an outlier compared to the others, indicating significant impact. Information about data in Scopus database. The information extracted from the Scopus database provides uh, values insights into a collection of uh, 106 documents spanning from 2000 to 2004. These documents are sourced from 84 different journals and comprising a wide range of content. On average, each document is relatively significant and average age of just two. 3.27 years and they have grammar and average of uh, 7.96 citation indicating their significance in the academic community. Okay, for table 2 average citation per year as we can see the mean or total citation per article uh, data from 2017 until to 2024 with this three significant strength. Firstly, there is noteworthy increase in mean uh, 16.17 in 2017 to 14.17 in 2018, indicating a surge in the citation impact of workplace wage type research during the, this period. Okay, the conclusion that I can conclude from Akbar the uh, 2002 analysis that the goal of the panel loss of the point in the case of theft is never to create a multitude of indicate. On the contrary, it is to create and make possible it's a situation wherein nobody is robbed of one's possessions. Islamic law in Sharia provides mechanism for redressing grave waste, including those related to wage theft. Workers have to have the right to seek justice uh, through appropriate uh, legal channels if their wish are uh, withheld unjustly. Okay, for the recommendation from the wage step is understanding regarding the responsibilities of employers and employees towards each other when they enter in an employment contract. Okay, second is employer must commit to ethical practices and timely payment of wages where agencies must enforce labor laws and support affected workers. Together, they can create a fair and just work environment that uphold the right and dignity of all workers. That's all from me. Thank you.